Coffee break with Ricky and this is the end. It's it will be my last episode of Coffee Break with Ricky of this year. You know, I I was thinking about this topic for a long time. I was even considering you know, making it my first episode of the Coffee Break, but it was it is a very controversial uh, topic, so I think it's the best one to end season 1 and to end maybe the Coffee Break uh, in general if um if I don't come up with a good idea for next year but yeah what is the big topic well you've seen the thumbnail and it's my viewpoint of the lgbt community whatever i whatever it's called now and just my viewpoint uh in general because it's it's not easy to not think about that community when you are listening to something like king and queen until now my sexuality was not really a big controversial thing in the media or it was used to, you know, make me more interesting as a person when it comes to TV stations or radio stations. And you might think maybe it's because I tell them or my manager tells them not to do that. But at the end of the day, it's exactly the opposite. I just don't care so fucking much about that, that it's not really a thing. Meaning that I'm not using it as, um, you know, I'm not using my sexuality to push anything. Did I have something in my teeth? Fuck. Don't matter. If you can read between the lines, or if you are just a logical thinking human being, then you don't need a lot of time to to recognize what my sexuality is. I mean, you can just look at the cover of King and Queen. You can check out the colors on that and you know do a little research and that's it and i really even doing this clip right now it really bothers me in a way of you know how we think of people that um maybe for certain people right now i my street credit went lower and for other people it went higher and that's exactly what my viewpoint of the community is that you shouldn't care and we care too much and it's a very dangerous game that we are playing right now because you know i grew up with you know listening to black sabbath iron maiden the blues brothers george michael um pantera 50 cent freddie mercury and i never gave a single fuck what they did in their sexual life every time when i would read up on them and discover oh she was a lesbian oh she, he was a queer uh, it, it was like yeah he was a he was vegan it was like yeah that's a simple fact and many many years ago and throughout the decades if you would you know watch certain interview holy shit my light just went out it's the spirit of the deceased gay legends you know if you watch certain interviews of those gay icons or bisexual or lesbian icons most of the time they and i'm paraphrasing here um i'm paraphrasing george michael here they will say things like the fact that they were lesbian or gays doesn't make their music better and it doesn't make them better as a person and now what we are you know, thinking and living right now is that we are all categorizing everyone, you know, we are categorizing everyone, you you can't just be gay or you can't just be a lesbian or you can't just be a heterosexual, there are so many labels, you, you come to think that you don't even know who you are just because of sometimes the community and sometimes because of certain people and that's a, to me, like I said, that's a very dangerous game. For me, I never cared about my own sexuality. It was like something that was very clear to me. And I gotta be honest with you, most of the time I had problems because other people had a problem with me not telling them who I am or, you know, what I'm into. Most of the time I had problems with left thinking people. I had a very, very hard time, most of the time, with those open-minded people with you know with gay art students with musicians who called themselves progressive 
they were like very aggressive if uh, because I was not using my sexuality as a business card. And that's one of the reasons why I don't indulge in, in those communities and I just want to keep everything, you know, not hidden, but I just keep it to myself. Because, and here's the kicker, at the end of the day, sexuality is just another way of saying where, yeah, where you would like to put your thing in or where, where I should put it into you. It's a shame that it became such a huge thing because I think the most honest wish that a lot of, and I'm going to call them queer people had in the past, was to just be a part of society. And now sexuality is used as a character. It's used as a reason why people should interact with you. It's, it's used as a thing to make you look better. And that really disgusts me. That and the fact that the community that was so much against labeling and categorizing people is now the, the fucking mastery of exactly doing that. But in the past, you would say that the sexist and homophobic people would give you a label. Now it's quite the opposite. Now the community itself gives out labels and it's, it's not enough. Now it's your character. Now it's who you are. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to list other things that are, you know, more important in life. But you get my point. Sexuality can't be that important for, for us as a society. And, you know, if you want to become my friend or if you just want to make good small talk with me and, you know, maybe hang out, I'm not going to judge you by your sexuality. If you can't really pronounce all the genders, I don't give a shit. If you are easy to listen to if you can drink some beers if you can quote tarantino movies and if you can quote certain one piece characters those are the reasons why i would like to maybe become your friend if you got a great sense of humor maybe we will become best friends but other than that i I couldn't care less what you are into, you know. The other thing is, as a musician, of course, I am a flamboyant killer queen um, that wears fucking kimonos at home. And I, you know, my face is female as fuck and I can't grow a beard. It's very obvious um, that those cliches really rock my world. And, you know, I could talk more about my bad encounters that I had with my sexuality and the people and the things that I've been through in Switzerland but I would like to end this clip on a very positive note because at the end of the day the things that I said may come across controversial but it shouldn't be that important and of course you should go out on a journey of course you should discover who you really are but it should not be bigger than it is my lovely encounter that I had was, of course, in Getafe at Fender Club. And I was, I, I think David, the drummer, was telling the audience in Spanish that I am going to sing Love of My Life. And, and, and Ricky is uh, dedicating this song to all the ones that he loves. And there was one girl in the audience who asked very loudly, and I understood it very clear, um... She was asking it in Spanish and after that she was asking it in English, but I understood it even when she was talking in Spanish to me because she was just smiling and very, very kind and she was just asking, who do you love? And I knew that she was asking about women and men. And, you know, I just answered, I, I love you all. The beautiful thing here is that, you know, I've heard that question hundreds of times in Switzerland on the stage after a concert, before a concert, and it was never asked in that very kind and beautiful way. And I think that was the special thing, because before that question, it always felt like there was a detective, but she was asking it in such a nice way. And even after the concert, she came up to me with uh, her boy boyfriend, and I will never forget what he told me. Uh, he he was just, he was standing there and he was telling me, he was saying, Ricky, I am confused. I'm not gay, but I am confused. And that was the biggest compliment I think that I could receive because at that, that 
that concert in itself, it was just... Uh, the band was unbelievable. I sang my heart out and I was just me. I was the king and queen that I was and that transported something, you know, but like I said at the end of the day, it wasn't my sexuality who made the concert great. It was the music. <laughs>